I'm on a founder streak, I'm trying a bunch of founders beers all at once because uh, I'm on a mission to find a bad one. And I don't think there is a bad one. They're all fantastic beers. This one is called Red's Rye PA. It says ale, hopped, and brewed with rye. 6.6% 6 .6 alcohol by volume and 70 IBUs. So it should be a, a quite a bitter beer. So this is a rye enhanced ale. All right. Here we go. Not much else to say about that. Uh, I bought this in Pennsylvania. Three point, or three point. Three dollars and 99 cents for this bottle. I don't think I've had a rye beer yet. Ooh, it's an interesting scent. <sighs> smells sweet and sour. It smells like an IPA with something extra. I can't quite pinpoint. It doesn't smell like rye. It smells really good. It's almost a little floral. It's a really, really good smell. I just I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, citrus and and flowers, I guess. Really interesting. Got my little teeny tiny mug, which I'm doing for all these founders reviews because I'm doing a bunch in a row. All right, we got a uh, orangey brown color going on here. Very slightly off white head, kind of murky. Let's see. Hmm. It smells the same in the mug. No difference there at all. So cheers. Ooh. Okay. And this is why I like doing beer reviews because trying new things, it's really amazing to, uh, to pick up on different types of beer styles and you know what they offer, what you're looking for in a beer as far as the flavor profile. What's exciting to me about this one is that it's unlike anything I've ever really had before. Um, this one's really good. Uh, predominant flavor, I'm going to say, on this one is malt. There's a lot of malt here, but there's a little bit of a spiciness. Um, and you can taste the rye. The rye is not overwhelming, though. You know, it's not like... I don't know, like if you have a rye whiskey or something, it's sometimes it's, it's very, very pungent rye. The rye works very nicely in here. It's kind of uh, integrated properly, I think. Mostly just, uh, just a malty beer. But there's this weird spiciness to it in a good way, almost like a, pep like a black pepper uh, kick to it. It's very smooth though. I like it. It's got a bite to it. 6.6% 6 .6 is no slouch. It's not a you know crazy amount of alcohol or anything, but it's certainly above average, above normal. Well, you know, I taste the rye, but I really like I like rye. I love rye bread, I like rye whiskeys, I like you know, it's my first rye beer. I can't say I like rye beers. I've only tried the, tried this one, but I'm a little disappointed in that um, I want more of that rye flavor. But I will say it's in here. And unfortunately, I can't say this is a bad beer. So still, no bad beer from Foundry. Not Foundry, Founders. And obviously, this was not my first one tonight. But uh, yeah, Founders still makes a really solid beer. This is probably my least favorite so far. Their porter is phenomenal. Their all the IPA is very good. I mean, all all the Foundry. Damn it, I did it again. All the Founders beers, not Foundry. The hell am I talking about? All the Founders beers really are exceptionally nice. Um, this is my least favorite one, but that being said, I still like this one. This is not a particular uh, flavor profile though that I would get again. Excuse me. Um, if it was predominantly rye flavored, I would get it again. Um, when, when I think of like rye flavored alcohol, I mean, I think particularly there's one specific 
rye flavored alcohol that I really like, and that is Buffalo Trace whiskey. Buffalo Trace is a very unique flavored uh, whiskey, and um, I'm a huge fan of it. it it's, it's, I was kind of expecting that rye to be in this, which it's not. So because, it, I mean, it's, it's called Red's Rye, I'd like to have seen, or seen, I'm not looking at it, I'm tasting it. I, I would have liked to uh, taste a lot more rye flavor. But that being said, it's still really, really good. There's a thicker, chewy mouthfeel to this. Um, you know, coats the whole palate. The flavor lingers really good. You know, it, it lasts with you for a while. It's full of flavor. There's a lot of beers that, that seem very watery. And although the flavors are good, they're, they're thinned out. This is not. This is very thick and rich. You know, it's, um, guess, dude, that's like the 10th beer review in a row that you're just snoring away, man. All right, go ahead. I feel bad. I feel bad he's snoring. He can't help it. Anyway, all right. Mm. Well, this one is, um, it's very, very good. The rye flavor is there. It's definitely more bitter. What did I say, 70 IBUs? You know, just like the other one that I did from Founders. Um, I didn't think, I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it's 70 IBUs. It really, the bitterness, it's there, but it's not super bitter. It's very much enjoyable. I know some people really don't, they don't like extremely bitter beers. And this one really wasn't, so very tolerable flavor. Um, I like this one. I like the flavor, but it's not all rye. And I was kind of, I was going into this thinking that it would be very much rye present. And it wasn't. For me, this one was mostly malts. Uh, nothing outstanding. Nothing that blew me away. But still a really good, solid beer. And I think a lot of people would really enjoy this. Um, it's worth giving a shot. Uh, I'd recommend it. Not highly recommended, but if you happen to... Uh, to have tried the other founders uh, beers, this is certainly one that you want to try as, as well. So it's a rye uh, infused ale. Pretty nice. I like it. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Take care.